I think I know why we're all here um, modeling these things and following these channels on YouTube. A big thank you to John Deere 100 on YouTube for letting me borrow a snippet of his video. I'm not a business or anything, so it's just for us modelers. Uh, also, big thanks to Big Eddie uh, for inspiring me to get back in the workbench. And this video is for you, sir. Um, these are the v Archer rivets you will be using. And there's the part number. If you guys want to order them, you find them on eBay all the time. Uh, price is fair for what you're going to accomplish. Uh, but please do not attempt to use this method for it at all. If you're not going to follow Showtime Studios' two-part video tutorial on using these Archer Rivets decals, uh, it's actually a must-see. Showtime Studios' two-part video on applying these decals on your models. Um, I'm going to zoom in real quick. There we go. Uh, tell me that isn't a perfect match. Just is. Okay, so please go ahead and order this set of these decals. I'm going to post a video later on this week of actually applying them. Uh, it'll be a quickie video like all my videos. And here's a shot of my interior. All the little work I've done to it. Hopefully you guys can do something similar. Uh, Big Eddie, looking forward to see what you do with yours. Also went ahead and built a CB. It's going to hang off the roof. And I replaced the steering wheel with something a little bit more modern, more sporty, along with obviously the, the seats. Uh, and these are the cuts I made in the side that will allow the model, well here we go, the shot, to flex, squeeze these tabs, and now you can get it into the cab with no issues. You can barely see it, but it's just enough flex built in so that they will fit into your model. And something else I want to show you is how I uh, reinforce the interior. Anyways, um, I'll get that video out to you guys sometime this week, hopefully. Got some big issues at work, apparently. Uh, I, uh, I insulted uh, one of the higher-ups by asking for an apology. I work for a government agency and law enforcement. And, uh, and this political atmosphere right now is uh, apparently if you don't uh, speak to someone the right way, or in my case, demand an apology for something they did, then I get caught on the carpet and get chewed out. So I got to report to headquarters tomorrow, Tuesday morning, and get chewed out. But I'm still going to demand my apology. I did nothing wrong. And I'll let you know how that goes. And something real quick I wanted to show you is my next project. I don't know why this thing caught my eye, but I'm going to share it with you. Yep. Tell me that doesn't look cool. Former Lindbergh line, um, 125th scale uh, tank car. Only reason I bought it was because the guy wanted 24 bucks for it. And um, I don't know why, but to me, it looks like a hot dog. I love it. Apparently, it's a horrible model. A lot of flash, uh, a lot of gaps, a lot of issues. But I'll, I'll, I'll fix her up pretty. Make it look like a, like a picture there. But, apparent, but also... Uh, uh, I'm a huge fan. I'm a, a hot dog uh, aficionado. I love good hot dogs, chili dogs especially. Just chili in the hot dog or mustard in the hot dog, that's it. Nothing else. Don't doctor it. I need to taste the quality of your hot dogs. And I travel all over the country, and usually when I hit, hit certain towns, I hit the hot dogs. But maybe that's what attracted me to that model. I don't know, but it's got bug eyes. And it just darn looks like a freaking hot dog, and it's making me hungry. John Deere 100, thank you, sir. And uh, Big Eddie, thank you also. And uh, I'll post that other video here pretty soon.
there's a storm coming up here so I'm gonna cut this video short right about here because it's starting to get a little bit cold all right guys bye